Why is this fight happening? Okay, so basically, this geezer, JJ. So following my fight with Malfoy, he, he pipes up on my Instagram picture. He's like, yo, let me fight the winner. So he's calling me out, all right? And I'm like, okay. So obviously I, I won that fight and I go through the work. I'm like, okay, let's make this happen. Next thing I know, he's coming up saying, oh no, I want to get Harry involved. Because obviously, you know, I know I know what you were doing. Yeah, because you you're, know, you're, you're small time, bro. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. You're small time. How many subscribers do you have? Oh. Huh? Hey. Okay. How many, oh. how many hey. subscribers does Harry have? <laughs> Why would I waste my time on you, bro? Why are you luck here then? Luckily for you, why Harry's you a pussy as well. So that's why. That's why I have to that's why I have to settle with you, bro. Alright, what did you say? So when it comes to like me like preparing KSI for like the fight, the big thing is I don't really know, I didn't really know how good he was and what to look for. So we can't work on a lot of things because his fight's coming right up, but it's just sharpening everything up, not making too many mistakes and just simplifying everything for him just so we can give him some good things to go in there so that he's really confident. So it's not about having too much, just sharpening some really good things so he goes in there with some really good weapons. So he builds confidence. Made it. Hey, what's up, man? Hey, I'm Chase. Chase, nice what's up? Chase, what's up, man? Five hours. But it took Matt long because, dude, I was so because I hate flying. I've never oh, been yeah. overseas, yeah. and I'm oh, waiting. Wait, is this your first time in England? Yeah, yeah, first time overseas. No bro. way! Yeah, crazy, so. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. So like, uh, my guy's been filming like spas I've been doing. Yep. So I think it'd be good for you to look at that. Yeah, yeah. Just to see like my level. Like, yeah, yeah. I want to see like what, yeah, what you're doing. See, um, like watch you spar. And yeah. then get in there and move, and then just like train time. Yeah. It's feeling good? Yeah, yeah bro. Yeah, yeah, ready? So, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You all the right A lot of people will, will be surprised to see how like hard I've been working. Yeah. I'm yeah, like, right. like that's why I, mean. I can't wait for the weigh in. I mean, you yeah. see my body, yeah. and, like, legit, like, proper, yeah, yeah. yeah. So before I used to have like a proper gut and yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. But yeah, dude, it's sick. <laughs> I'm like waking up with time and shit. I'm like ready to go. Feels so good. Yeah, yeah, I've got like the energy and everything. So I'm Heck just yeah. like, pop, 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 dude, pop. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. I am Isaiah Ocasio, um, Bentoja is my full name, but also known as a face sensei um, on the YouTube um, world. I'm a martial arts instructor and I run a martial arts school. Uh, my dad owns two and I run one. Got into YouTube because of uh, Tommy, Face Temper um, and Face Clan. And randomly, one time Tommy came in and was a student. We built our relationship and then he kind of showed me what Phase was about and what YouTube was about. And I started a brand called Face Fitness with um, Face Clan. And I've just been a part of the team ever since. This to yeah. generate the power for yeah. that. My name is KSI. I am a YouTuber slash actor slash musician slash prankster sometimes slash boxer now. <laughs> Born in London, but I, I, I grew up in uh, Watford, which is just outside London. Oh Jesus! Look at that, just weaving in and out like it's nothing. A lot of it was, it was just, he's just, he's just, go, he's just changing levels. He's literally going, there he's going, he's, he's um, going off So uh, I knew Sensei from obviously FaZe and uh, I saw his videos and uh, I saw him kicking ass. <laughs> and uh, I thought it was pretty sick, but this fight came out of nowhere and I, I thought it'd be a clever idea to get FaZe Sensei to come through and uh, help me out. And he's done quite a lot for me, so. He changed he's, he's just up and down. Up hard and for down. you to hit him, right? He's a moving target. He's not necessarily reacting to the punches, he's just moving, so it's hard for you to hit him. Yeah. But then watch. He steps into range, changes levels. Because if you step into range, if you just change levels, if they're going to punch you where you're at, there's a good chance they're going to miss. Yeah. You just but then he comes, he's loaded, so he comes right back, straight down the pipe. Boom! Yeah. You know what I mean? Shit. Is Joe a lefty or righty? Uh, he's orthodox. That I know okay. of anyway. But the thing is, like, I mean, there's no point in watching because I'm sure he's yeah, no. fixed yeah. up a lot of his, uh, yeah. like, tendencies. Tendencies. 
in his like in his yeah. last fight. That's right, yeah. He just he right. back like this. Yeah, yeah. Right. And I doubt he's gonna do that now. Because... Right. I saw him push you too at that conference, yeah. and I was like, <laughs> "Dang, dude." <laughs> piss me off man, man. I don't I never like get angry like that especially in public man. like that's right. I've never ever ever it was cheap like that that's it why was cheap. it just pissed me off let's do it let's go let's do it let's go let's go let's go let's tighten everything up let's see what he's got let's go if I get this down to the T oh, oh yep then it's like Literally, Joe can't do anything. If I knocked him down, man, if I literally knock him out, it's gonna be mad. When? When, yeah. Yes. So sometimes, so you're not always stepping forward. So okay. sometimes if I'm here, right, I'm going in and out, so I'm always coming in when I throw it, now I can stay right here. And if you throw the jab at me, so, like so. Yeah, I jab it on my face. I go here and just throw it. Okay. Instead of having to be, you throw the jab at me. Okay. Coming in. Because you're coming in from this room. You're yeah. You do it definitely, a lot of power. I should have said before. But sometimes you want to be able to just go, BAM! Right now, I definitely feel like I'm in the best shape of my life. Just throw the arm up. Yeah. See how solid it is? Yeah. Even if I put, even if I put weight behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, that one. There you go. See the heel. It's your right hip. If it's back here, yeah. look where your shoulder is. Just gotta get in front of you. Drag your knee down, get in front of you. Ground. That's like a boom. Yeah. Uh, my training has been pretty intense. The fight is 6 3, so 6 rounds of 3 minutes. So I need to make sure I'm as fit as possible. So I've been doing a lot of running, a lot of swimming, a lot of biking, uh, a lot of road work, a lot of sprints. And uh, obviously, I've also been doing drills on the pads and just doing a lot of training with boxing. I've never been able to see my abs before and now I can see them. The two biggest things I say are balance and distance. But the distance I don't just mean staying away from everything. I mean about controlling the distance of being aware of where they are. So I know that if you're right here, I'm not gonna be loose. I'm mean, gonna when you're close, I'm ready to bang. Because the mentality is you want to come close. That's the, the idea. Yeah. Not just keep him away. I want to keep him away to get him close so I can knock him out. That has to be the attitude. Yeah. If you're doubting at all, every fight you look at Mike Tyson, there was doubt in the other person. Yeah. You can see it in yeah. their posture. Just how they Once he got close, it's like, oh my God, God please. please. Oh, please. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> you know what I mean? But was there any doubt in Mike? No doubt in like Mike's face. And that's why when Mike would get into that, that second bridge, that third bridge here, he would go, oh, he's confident here. Yeah. He's confident when you hit him. Because he's saying, I don't care if you hit me, I'm ready for it. You know what I mean? Yeah. And they're thinking, I hope I hit him. It's, the, it's a complete polar opposite. I hope I hit him, I hope he doesn't hit me. The way I started in fighting was because I grew up a martial artist. My dad is a 8th degree black belt in Kempo and in blended martial arts and I have six siblings in the same house who all grew up as black belts. And then I got into fighting later into competition as I got older and then I thought of a great idea to post it on YouTube. So the idea of posting on YouTube really inspired me and motivated me to train and actually compete. Somebody, for example, my dad, when I came home one day, my dad's coming on, he, um, and I had the idea I was going to jump out and scare him. I'm not going to be sorry, I'm like 11 years old. Yeah. 
Worst thing happened to me, I don't know, 10 and 12, I was the only one that was doing that. <laughs> He's coming up, I told my son, I'm gonna scare him. She goes, don't do it, he's gonna hit you. My dad won't hit me, he doesn't hit us or nothing like that. But he's not gonna do it on purpose, but he's gonna hit you. No, he's not. I got it, I got it, I got it. I'm waiting, he's coming like around the corner, and a briefcase in his hand. And he, I'm waiting, he puts the briefcase down, like this, he's walking in, and I jump off. Ah! Like, jump out. He's putting the briefcase down, and boom! As I jump, he went boom! And as he's looking, and he kicks, and as he's kicking, he goes, oh! Like he realizes it's me. So I go like this, ah! Man. Boom! I'm crying. Yeah. He walks over to me. What did you do that for? And he walks away. <gasps> and I go to my stepmom, I'm ball my eyes out. I told you. I don't want to hear it, go to your room. Like, yeah. I'm in trouble, you know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> but, but the idea was, he's so much on reaction training, he didn't think about it. Yeah. He's coming home, he's relaxed. Something jumps up. Boom. Because his reaction was like this. Yeah. He trained his reaction to be. Bah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So it's more about like drilling your reaction so that when you train your shadow boxing, do it a little bit more aggressively. Okay. Like, okay, am I, do I feel like I'm ready to be hit right now? Yeah. Not training went really well. Um, let me tell tell me how how does Yeah, it no, it was good. Like I've just learned a new element to my arsenal really. Yeah, just new stuff. Can't specify. Yeah, just, can't specify. Just some new stuff. Yeah. So I making mean, everything better. Sharpening much. everything. Learning like that, learning new things, adding to the game. I think yeah. because um, the more tools you have, it's, it's, the better equipped you are. Yeah, the better equipped you are. Like, I'm not gonna lie, you hit harder than I thought. Oh really? Yep. Yeah, I'm gonna be honest. Oh snap. Yeah, you're, you're better than, you're better than um I thought, which is really good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah harder than I thought. So tomorrow I'm doing a, I'm having a drug test. So uh, I'm gonna do that quite early in the morning, and then uh, yeah, and then we start sparring. Is uh, your coach gonna be there? Yeah, yeah, my coach is with Arantita. Yeah. Oh, dude, you're nice. Face, that's a first first kid size boxing coach. The hell, yeah. Yeah, man. Just do one round. We have to do it after yours though, because I have to at least for you before. Yeah. So well, I think bad happens. To do my drug test, the boxing fight. So, let's see if I've been taking the steroids. Oh, 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 oh shit! Oh, oh. One man hit. Alright. What's happening today? Uh, I'm getting a drug test, bro. This is to check if I've been taking the steroids. Taking the. Juicy juice. The juicy juice. <laughs> yes. Enhancements. Really weird because I do the I do high profile athletes mm. and they we don't do that here. Oh really? For the juicy juice. We do their blood. Oh the blood, yeah. Blood and urine. Yeah, that's, that's right. how you yeah, yeah, it's a, it's a doping. Yeah, yeah, so doping, that's how they do it. So it's happy days. Oh no, 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 no. You might even notice it. that's uh, <laughs> weird. Make sure you're feeling that how good I did that. You're done? Yeah. Yeah, she got Snow. it. Snow. What happens if this one's like positive? <laughs> it won't. <laughs> it won't. Well, don't you be around anyone that does anything passively. <laughs> what do you mean? Well, passive smoking and... Oh, okay. Marijuana and stuff like oh, that. Oh, really? I can... Try not to be around those kind of people. Fair. <laughs> it's quite easier said than done, I know. Sensei. Oh, man. Alright, take care. Sorry, don't mix it up. Don't mix it up. It's weird to take your hair. I've never, uh, I've only done blood and urine. I've never done any hair. And I guess it's more effective. So yeah, I think uh, JJ was just talking about me, but it looks like he's doing an interview um, with somebody, something from the news. I can't really, I can't even understand his accent. Uh, did you ever get into fights growing up, anything like that? Very rarely, I would normally try to avoid fights, but uh, every now and then I would get into a fight, but it's over like something stupid, like one of my mates uh, got angry that I kept beating him at table tennis, so he threw a bat at my head. And then I just went insane and I wanted to kill him. And then I didn't see him in school for the whole day. 
because <laughs> he kept trying to avoid me. But I mean, like normally whenever a fight is about to happen, I normally get stopped. Like someone normally holds me back, so. So we're here at the gym um, where he does the sparring and stuff. KSI right now is about to spar um, with a Muay Thai uh, level guy, I believe, right now. And then after that, I'm going to be sparring him. He got to spar him. He got to do nine rounds today. Um, so I get him in between. So I'm going to hopefully piece him up in between that. Go time. This is great. You're going to spar phase two. OK, I need a pee. <laughs> In the sparring gym, so the gym is used very understanding. Like okay, when you're sparring an amateur, you're not trying to take him out, but you're trying to make them work. This is, what he, this is what he needs, this is good. He's doing pretty good. The thing that he needs to do is his hands a little down and he keeps jumping away. And um, his, butt, his left hand is pretty good, but he's only shooting his right hand to the body. He's got to shoot his right hand to the edge of the dome, slowing down. This is what you need. Man. Yeah. Because when Willow comes out, you're going to yeah, be like, you know what? No, but I'm not learning that. I'm just taking no, no, punishment. No, no, no. You are learning. What you're learning is your opponent's weaker than the person you're sparring. And you hit him with some good punches, you know? Because he might be strong. He might be stronger than you think. Yeah. I'm not saying he's going to be stronger than you. Yeah. But he might be stronger than you think. And I need you to be prepared for that. This is why we're getting the hard sparring. You've knocked over a few of your sparring partners. We're not having it in our room. Well, Vidal has been, uh, who is my trainer, has been uh, teaching me quite a lot. He's, uh, I guess, essentially worked on my, my stance, worked on my footwork. Footwork is very important. Worked on, um, I guess, judging range, just so I can like pop in and out quickly so I don't get caught. Uh, keeping on the outside because he knows that Joe Weather is probably going to want to rush in and keep on the inside. So he's training me to learn how to put someone, keep someone on the outside. Later on in the rounds, I'd be still fit and he'll be tired. Just various things as well, just, just learning on how to stay out of danger and how to fight smart and box smart, rather than uh, playing his game and playing the, uh, just swinging and just making it messy. He wants it to be a lot more nice and neat and I guess proper, yeah. Well done. Now you gotta have a rest, and then Faze ain't gonna do what Liam just did. I doubt it. If he does, then it's best for you. But maybe you have some grace in this day. You know? it's be I'd rather you get hit and hit the person right. than get hit and go like this. Yeah. I can't do anything. And then he's gonna tee up. You can't do anything from here. But yeah. if you go, boom. Bang. And he's ready, 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 to, ready to strike, right? Ready to well, strike, ready to strike. This is the thing. This is why I'm getting you hard sparring. Um, well, that's why I wasn't wearing the head guard. I was like, oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> this is it. <laughs> <laughs> Now, the key, key reason
reason why it was important that happened to you is because I don't want the first time that happens to be in a fight. Because oh. we don't have time. Yeah. We don't want Joe to come at you with that speed yeah. and you think, fuck, that's fucking quick. That's quick. You'd be so used to seeing his hands, yeah. you're, this is normal, you're, yeah. cu you're accustomed to it. You know, so that's why it's really important. There is a method behind the craziness. Yeah. Trust me. Yeah. Right, How's it feeling? How's it feeling? Yeah, feeling good? Feeling good. Just installing some good things into him, getting rid of the bad habits. Hoping that phase beats the shit out of him. Let's go. That's what we need. Don't kick him though. <laughs> well, when Sparrow was sent him, I was first of all hoping he wasn't going to kick me. <laughs> Secondly, um, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, he's a lot faster than I thought he'd be. He's a lot faster. Uh, so I'm warming up on the back, getting ready. JJ's already done a couple rounds. And um, after he's done work and he's recovered, it's go time with me. So I'm going to put some work on him. He's going to be ready, though. He'll be able to take it. I'm going to go for his body. I'm going to test his body a little bit. It's a big one. You're crushing you know it. why I'm confident. You're crushing it, bro. It's a workout, man. A beatdown. I'm gonna say that's the best round you ever spot, you know why? Because you had someone in front of you that can actually hurt you, and you actually done something about it, and you threw a lot of jabs, and you threw a lot of nice upper cuts, and, yep. you, did, and you, did, yeah, you did panic a little bit, but I'd say that's the best you spot. You had someone in front of you that can do something to you, and you've done something apart from going fuck. So, a lot of times, uh, I'd be able to keep people away with my jab, but I kept him away for a small amount of time, but then he'd just quickly come inside and just hit me with a right hook, or just, well, smack my liver. <laughs> Alright, let's go, let's go, let's go. And move, move, you're taking that up, move that. That's it, good work. That's it, good work. You know, I learned a lot from it. Um, I just learned that I just need to keep my hands up. My hands are always just too low down, so I need to work on the defense and just making sure I don't get caught easily because of that. You did good, though. Yeah? He did a lot better than I thought. I hit him with some body shots. Then he came back. I said, he gotta keep, when he gets hit, he's got to come back. Yeah. You know? I've been training for a while, and he's this his first amateur fight. Good job. He did a good job. His biggest strength is that he's strong and he's athletic. He's, he can hit hard, he's, he doesn't have a soft hit. As you can see on my face, he kind of tagged me up a little bit. So his, his, his strength is that he's quick, his athleticism and his power. The one thing for like a weakness is the same weakness that everyone goes through in, in fighting is being able to deal with strikes coming at you. Yeah. No, it was good, it was a tough fight. Yeah. Never up there the hardest spars of my life. <laughs> He did, he did really well. No, I've heard some people who are like, you haven't had energy to fight though. You're no. just starting, <laughs> and you've just been boxing for how long? Four months? Dude, four that. months. I've got a bloody lip. My face doesn't feel good. You know, I hit him with some shots, but that's yeah, not yeah, yeah, happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. part of the game. some good liver shots, bro. But, it's, but I was just trying to push him and challenge him. I should still, like, do better. I, I, I have to, like, do the best I can, so. I, exactly, yeah. So I need to make sure I'm you know, not making any excuses, because as soon as the <laughs> fight ends, I can't just be like, oh, I should have, or I could have. It's, you know, that's that, yeah, so. But man, we're gonna go watch film, rest up, <laughs> yeah. study a little bit. Study it, yeah. And rest. I'm flipping ice. Jacuzzi, oh. ice. Yeah. Oh, my elbow. <laughs> rest in peace. My face feels good. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah.
Yeah, KSI is definitely ready. To be honest, based off watching his footage, his sparring footage, and then sparring him, I didn't think he was gonna do that good against me. He, he responded very well, and he's down to fight. So he's definitely a fighter. It's not just, you know, he did pretty well. So I'm totally confident. And he's a good learner, man. We've been spending a lot of time. He's been so receptive to information. We spent hours talking about um, technique and concepts and stuff, and he's totally game. Sensei's been cool, man. I, he's a cool guy, man. He, he can talk for Africa. <laughs> but uh, he, he's just got so much knowledge, which I really appreciate. So it's, uh, yeah, it's cool to have him here. I'm fairly confident, and uh, I know I'm going to win. So, yeah, no, it's... it's. Do you think you'll knock Joe Weller out? Uh, yes, I believe I'm going to knock Joe Weller out.